All right, this is a video on cross overlay traffic with Fortinet ADVPN BGP on loopback, and that's running ADVPN 1.0. Uh, we're running code 7.4.8. Let's talk about the architecture real quick. So we actually have an eight overlay architecture. So we've got hub one, we've got hub two. We've got two sites, AAA and BBB. Every single site has two ISPs, one, two, one, two, one, two. So our overlays go from basically WAN one up to here, WAN one up to here, WAN two to here, WAN two to here. That's to have one. And then we have one, two, three, four. That's a total of eight overlays. Same over here. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. So we have our maximum possible of, um, of, of possible VPN tones we have. So given that architecture, uh, we have here uh, a host sitting down here, 33, 33, 33, 33, and a host sitting down here, 44, 44, 44.44. So let's put that to the side. And let's look at our VPN tunnels. So here on FortiGate AAA, we have eight overlays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got four going to hub one and four going to hub two. Same over here, the maximum combinations that we have. All right, so as we can see, we have no shortcut tunnels set up. Let's go ahead and refresh this to make sure, and we don't. So let's get a ping going from the 333 host, which is right here, over across to the B side, okay? We do a quick refresh and we can see that we've got our shortcut tunnel. The tunnel is going to the B side on port number one, which is WAN one. We could refresh over here. We can see the short tunnel, shortcut tunnel is built up of course, but let's ping the opposite direction here. Now, things to, things to note, um, ISP one has low latency, ISP two, here has a latency of 22 milliseconds. So when we fail over, we can actually see that. So let's do something simple. On the A side, which is right here, let's go ahead and shut down WAN 1. Because right now we're going to the B side, WAN 1. So we're going from WAN 1 to WAN 1 and WAN 1 to WAN 1. So if we come over here to port number 1, and set status disable we're just going to shut it down let's see what happens well the tunnel fails and the secondary tunnel picks up um, right we have a total of eight tunnels so by by shutting wan uh one down we actually kill one two three four tunnels if we go back to our dashboard and ipsec monitor we can see we have one two three four tunnels down basically all the tunnels that are using WAN 1, as expected. So now, now WAN 1 is dead. So this is completely dead here. Let's change the, the pen color to red. All right, let's go pink. Pink is a new red. So that is dead. So we're running across WAN 2. Traditionally, with the older BGP for overlay, you, you had some difficulties with cross overlay traffic, meaning WAN 2 traffic had difficulty going over to WAN 1, right? It wanted to stay on WAN 2. Well, let's see if that gets resolved with BGP on loopback. So now if we refresh our screen on our IPsec monitor, right, we are using this shortcut, shortcut number two, which is going from um, WAN 2 over to port number one. So first of all, that itself proves that cross overlay traffic is working, but we're gonna go a step further. Now what we're gonna do is on the B side, we're going to shut down port number, what do we say? This is going over to the B side port number one. We're gonna shut down port number one, set status disable. Let's see what happens. All right, obviously a short outage. Um, as that VPN tunnel collapses and we go over another overlay, 
So now what we've done is we've just shut down that link here. Now, if we refresh our screen, now we're going over to the B side on port number two. So let's do this. Let's basically completely kill B, right? We're gonna kill port number two. So these pings should completely stop. So we're gonna kill two, that completely stop, right? This side is dead, but let's bring up port number one, right? Once you bring up an interface, right? We need the VPN tunnel to establish, we need BGP to come through and, uh, and here we are. That was very, very quick. So if we refresh our screen, we now have our B connection going back over to port one. Let's kill it again. Let's just refresh the screen, right? We've got port one up and port two down. Let's do as quick as possible. Let's do port one up, port two up. Let's refresh. Port two up, port one down, right? So we should expect this to shift over to port number two. And it does. There you go. That proves out that um, BGP on loopback does support cross overlay traffic and it supports it very well. And this also proves that it works in ADVPN 1.0. Now, if we come back here and let's do a normalization, right? We always want to see things normalize. We should see this all return to our low latency path, which is a five millisecond. Um, while that's happening, let's go do a uh, config uh, system SD-WAN. And let's prove that we are running ADVPN 1.0. And this proves we're running ADVPN 1.0. And sure enough, we are back to our low latency five millisecond path. There you go.